Hi there, you're watching the Racing Post series of World Cup video previews and we're talking about the Golden Ball which is awarded to the player of the tournament four years ago. The voting took place about halfway through the second half and Zinedine Zidane just about got enough votes to win it before headbutting Marco Materazzi. So bear that one in mind. Um, Lionel Messi, not surprisingly favourite. Tony Cascarino, who do you like for this? Well, sometimes you have players playing brilliantly for their clubs or indifferently for their clubs and Clay could play completely different for the national team. And I think Kaka's been like that uh, for me. Uh, I look at him, Brazil was set up to play for him, to get on the ball, deliver, uh, and find opportunities or score goals. So for me, I, I know he's a big price Kaka. And I've 18 to 1. 18 to 1. And I think, you know, nine times out of 10, the winners or, or, or losers in the final is going to have the best player in the tournament, the Golden Ball. So do you think he's almost become the kind of forgotten man? Because, I mean, you know, he was the, the real big summer transfer before Ronaldo came along. Yeah. What did you make of him with Real this season? I thought he turned up injured. I think that showed. I think he lost a lot of confidence with his performances along the way, especially in the Champions League. He found his feet a little bit towards the end of the season. Um, but I think there's a lot in his tank for this World Cup finals. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Kaka has a real major Im impact. Good stuff. And Mark Langdon, who do you like for this Yeah, one? I like the, um, the idea of somebody who's had a quieter club season because I think that Messi and Rooney and people like that, they have been working hard this year. You know, It's, it's been hard graft for them. And I think Iniesta, um, you're talking about forgotten men. I mean, um, this time last year, Iniesta was being sort of labelled the best midfielder in the world by Wayne Rooney mm. um, year before he helped Spain to win Euro 2008. Um, only scored once this season for Barcelona. Very strange... Um, he was hit by injuries, but if the real Iniesta turns up, then you're getting 33, 40 to 1 about somebody who is, is just as good as anybody else going to this World Cup. Well, let's talk about the favourite Lionel Messi, Mark, because, I mean, you know, he is absolutely incredible for Barcelona. Can he reproduce that form for Argentina this year? I don't think so, no. I think this sort of number 10 shirt um, weighs very heavily on his shoulders at Argentina. Um, the local public don't particularly like him. They call him sort of Catalan or Spanish um, because he was brought up at Barcelona. He's also got problems in that at Barca, Alves makes so many mm. runs for him down the right and Xavi picks him out with the passes. I don't think he's got that at Argentina. I mean, Gutierrez is playing right wing for them. Um, you know, he's a championship player, sort of masquerading. Yes, that is Gutierrez yeah, of yeah, Newcastle, yeah. that's you wondering. Um, he's not exactly Danny Alves, is he? And I don't think Varon is as good as Xavi. So um, I think Messi will find it very difficult. And if he starts well, yeah. he, he, could, he, one, you know, he could tear it up. But. There's one major problem. With, when Varon gets on the ball, the ball that he gives to people is slightly delayed. In Iniesta and Xavi, it's normally one touch. And it comes to Messi very early. And with that movement and pace, as Mark's touched on around him, I think the game for Barcelona is so much easier for Messi to play in. Argentina, it's a bit more delayed. Veron will take as much time as he needs to get it where he wants. But that's not when Messi wants it. And um, Veron likes to spray these balls right and left. And, you know, like Tony was saying, it's all quick at Barcelona on the floor. And um, I, I think he's a favourite to take on. Because if Argentina go well, he's definitely not the only one capable of sort of... Um, you know, being the star man, so many. Um, so uh, at 13 to 2, he makes sort of zero appeal. Well, I'm looking one down on the list, and Xavi has been absolutely unbelievable for Barcelona. And I, I just I can see him pulling the strings for Spain and sitting in there and playing a million passes a game and just making them tick. And, you know, I think at the end of the day, that, that will get recognised. Yeah, so he, he, won the, he won the equivalent award at Euro 2008, didn't he? So, um, I mean, he's, he's sort of got the previous form going for him. Superb footballer and a very interesting betting market. That says Kaka for Tony. And it's, um, Mark, remind me who you're Iniesta. going for. Iniesta for you. And I'm going to go for Iniesta's partner in crime at Barcelona, Xavi.